What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports. Our schedule preview projected record series continues here with the Wisconsin Badgers. Before we get to 2022, let's look back at 2021. Here is the schedule from 2021 for Wisconsin. You see, out of the East, they had to play Michigan. That wound up being a, a tough game. They played Notre Dame in the non-conference. Also, Penn State out of the East. No Ohio State, but still, Penn State, Michigan, pretty tough draw there. Uh, and then also Rutgers. Season started off really rough for them, losing three of their first four. Then they went on that great run before losing to Minnesota in a game that, uh, if they had won, they would have been in the Big Ten Championship. But, yeah, the schedule... Uh, it, it was it was pretty tough with Notre Dame in the non-conference, Michigan and Penn State in, a cross, in their cross-division games. Uh, let's look now at 2022, and here is that schedule. Before we go game by game, let's look at who they play outside of the division. They're going to play Illinois State, Washington State, and New Mexico State. So a pretty easy non-conference schedule. Uh, Washington State will not be a, an easy win or anything, but it's a game where Wisconsin should be favored. Uh, it's not like you're playing a top 10, top 15 powerhouse type team it is a power five team but not uh, not too tough of a game there in the non-conference and then if you look at who they play out of the east that's where it gets tougher they play both ohio state and michigan state on the road so two of the top three teams probably out of the east also maryland a team that has potential they're not a, a bad team or anything so a, a really tough draw out of the east for wisconsin this year now let's see how it goes game by game they start with illinois state in the opener then Washington State, then New Mexico State. So first three games are their three non-conference games. Then they will play Ohio State on September 24th on the road. Very tough game there. Follow that up with Illinois on October the 1st. And then it's on the road at Northwestern on October the 8th. So outside of Ohio State, when you look at these first six games, the first half of the schedule, Wisconsin has a great chance to win those other five games. So they could start five and one, which would you know be obviously be a much better start than they had last year. Uh, it's really the the last half of the schedule where it turns into more of a, a grind, where you got a tough game every single week, pretty much. It starts with Michigan State there on October the fifteenth. Then they'll play Purdue on October twenty second. They do get a bye week after Purdue, so you get a little bit of a break there. They play Maryland on on, on November fifth. Then it's on the road at Iowa, November 12th. On the road at Nebraska, November 19th. They close things out with Minnesota at home. Uh, that stretch right there, that's going to determine if, if Wisconsin's going to be uh, winning the Big Ten West because you got three division games. Maybe the three best teams in the division outside of Wisconsin with Iowa, Nebraska, and Minnesota. I don't want to sleep on Purdue, uh, but those three games, very tough there. And, and they could be in a great position going into those three games, but you lose two of those three games, and all of a sudden, my, maybe Wisconsin's not making it to the Big Ten Championship. Uh, so that's that's the most important part of their schedule, I think, those last three games. A, a schedule that is not too bad in the first half, other than Ohio State, very manageable schedule. But then once you get into that, that second half of the schedule, uh, it's pretty tough for Wisconsin. So I, I, I like the non-conference schedule if I'm a Wisconsin fan as far as being easy. They, they get a pretty favorable non-conference schedule, but they do not get a favorable conference schedule when you look at who they play out of the East. So that's going to make this a pretty tough schedule for Wisconsin in 2022. Here are the projections from 2021. You see an 8-4 and four record there for Wisconsin. Our projection actually put this team at 8-4, and four, so it was right on the money. My personal prediction was off. I had this team at 10-2. and two. I thought they were going to win the division, thought they were going to be a top 15 team and it didn't quite play out that way we saw it at times you know wisconsin was, was kind of up and down last year i think it really came down to the quarterback play if graham mertz had played better i think this team would have had a chance to go 10 and 2 potentially the fbi had them at 8.9 and 3.6 so around nine and three and the over under was at nine and a half so the over under thought this team would probably go nine and three or ten and two those are the two most likely scenarios and again they went eight and four but our projection was right on the money. So we'll see how the projection looks this year and see if it turns out to be accurate once again. Here's the schedule for Wisconsin, and here's the scale that we will use. So you have your 50-50 games. Those will be the white games, the games that will be, I think, spreads of three or four points or less. And then you're under 20, over 80. Those are games where I think the spread will be more than two touchdowns. 20-29, to 71-80%, to those are the games where I think the spread will be 
double digits, 10 to 14 points, kind of in that range. And then your 30 to 39, 61 to 70 percent games, those are games that are, I think, going to be about a touchdown spread, six, seven, or eight points. Doesn't there? Doesn't mean I think that's how the game is going to go. It's just kind of what I think the perception of each of these games will be. So we'll start with the easy wins. You got two of those, Illinois State and New Mexico State. I don't see Wisconsin having any trouble in either one of these games. Should be easy wins for the Badgers. Then we go to the blue. I think Washington State, you can put here in the blue. Maybe should put them in the purple, but I just I think playing at home, Wisconsin will clearly be the better team. I expect them to win that game, and I think they will be favored by 10 or 11 points in that one. So those are your easiest games. Now we go to the games where I think Wisconsin will be favored by about a touchdown. I think you got Illinois, Northwestern, and Maryland. All games that Wisconsin, I think, will be, again, clear favorites in, but not a huge favorite. I think this, these are games where Wisconsin could potentially lose, but I do I feel like they will be favored in all three matchups. Then we'll go to the game I think that they will be about a touchdown underdog in, and that's Michigan State. Again, Michigan State's projected to be a top 15 team, I think. Wisconsin, maybe towards the end of the top 25, but it's also on the road. If this was at home for Wisconsin, maybe it would be a 50-50 game. Uh, so this one's close to either being in the yellow or in the white, but playing on the road, that's ultimately what knocks this down into that yellow range. And uh, that's where I've got here for Michigan State. And then Ohio State, I've got them in the orange, 20 to 29%. I think Wisconsin will be a double-digit underdog playing on the road at Ohio State. Ohio State's going to be a top five team, at least preseason. And so, yes, Wisconsin going to be a pretty big underdog in that one. And then that leaves Purdue, Iowa, Nebraska, and Minnesota. And if you've watched my other videos, you know I've been saying this all, pretty much all offseason. Those five teams, to me, are pretty even. All five of them, I think, have a chance to win the Big Ten West. I don't see a lot of separation. If, was, if Graham Mertz steps up for Wisconsin, I think they have the, the potential to maybe be a team that could separate themselves from that pack a little bit, but we just didn't see that last year. So at this point, it's kind of hard to say that Wisconsin is going to do that. So I think all four of those games are games that really could go either way. Those are the games that will determine the division. If they can win, I think three out of four of those games, they'll have a really good shot. But it is a tough schedule with Ohio State and Michigan State on the road out of the East as well. So not a guarantee that three out of four wins there would get them into the Big Ten Championship. Uh, but those games, again, 50-50 games. So when we do the projection, we count these green games as wins. The blue is counted as 75%. The purple at 65%. Yellow, 35%. Orange, 25%. The white says 50-50 games, 50%. And so we average all of that out. And the projection comes out to 7-5. and five. So a lower projection than we had for them last year. I mean, seven and five. I think this team could probably do better than that. I, there's a pretty good chance. But again, when you look at the schedule, you know, if they split those 50-50 games and they lose to Ohio State and they lose to Michigan State, that's four losses right there. And then the the odds will tell you, even though they're going to be favored against Illinois, Northwestern, and Maryland, there's a pretty good chance that they might lose one of those three games. So I can see how seven and five would be the projection here. Uh, but I think Wisconsin. You know they're looking to at least go eight and four this year, at least do what they did last year. But of course, they want to win the the conference, want to win the division, and eight and four probably not going to be good enough to do that. Although it might be, when you look at these teams, if they all beat up on each other, a three or four loss team could actually win the Big Ten West, in my opinion, because I think it's going to be wide open. And like I said, I think these teams are going to beat up on each other. But I don't think seven and five would be enough. I think this team needs to at least get to eight and four to give themselves a chance really probably want to go nine and three. So that's the projection for Wisconsin. Do you guys agree? Do you disagree? Do you think better or worse? Give me your thoughts down in the comments below.